Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And as part of our Blade Show festivities and uh, series of interviews we've been running, we've actually got something we filmed a few weeks back with our friend Igor over at MKM. Unfortunately, you know, our Italian friends, as well as a lot of our uh, international friends, couldn't make it to the show this year because of travel restrictions, but we've got a new knife dropping today, and we've got this interview with Igor to go along with it. So I'll throw back to uh, past tense David to uh, take you through this knife and keep watching this channel for all our other great Blade Show interviews as well. And if you've really been missing my old maroon shirt, this is your one last time to see it. Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center and we're here today because we've got some new knives to show you from MKM. We've got my friend Igor over there in Italy joining us via teleconference. How are you, my friend? So guys, I'm doing well, let's say we, we are doing well and hope the same for you guys and hope for everyone at home is doing, is doing fine. Uh, we got a couple of new things to show and uh, I think you will like them. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm really excited. You, Igor was kind enough to, uh, to send us some samples. Uh, we've got two new knife designs here on the table. Um, one from a, uh, a very well-known designer that we'll get to in a minute. But the first one we're going to start with um, is, comes from a guy, um, Igor was telling me a little bit about this gentleman earlier, but it's a designer I've not heard about before. Um, so we've got the MKM Edge. Tell us a little bit about that and, and where this kind of came from. So uh, MKM Edge uh, is a knife uh, that has been designed by Bruno Bruna, also said, uh, uh, also known as Graciut, that is his nickname, and is a uh, is a guy uh, <laughs> with <laughs> that is um, um, a maker, uh, is a custom maker uh, established in Maniago, always lived in Maniago, uh, and so for for this edge we would like to go for a complete knife that has been completely made and think and designed in Maniago. That's the idea. So from the design to the manufacturing, to the packaging, to whatever has been made in Maniago. And this makes uh, us proud. And also to uh, it's, it's a way to honor our origin and our tradition in knife making. Um, the edge uh, is uh, uh, as a design that is uh, uh, designed uh, very often used by by Graciut. so it's like a geometrical knife, and we decided to make it for for a reason. You know that is a slip joint, okay, and is a traditional knife. So we decided to put on extreme the modernization of of a traditional knife. So. The most traditional opening and closing system with a, a very, very innovative design that you can see from the handle, uh, from also the, the blade shape is very, very uh, different, let's say. Uh, so uh, speaking about some specs, it has uh, um, M390 steel blade with satin finish, with satin finish blade. Uh, you can see finger holes on the blade to help with the opening. Um, the handles are different. As usual, we like to give options. So um, we have two titanium handles and four uh, aluminum handles. So the two titanium whole, whole are whole range one. of colors like you usually like to do. Exactly. So the titanium will come with a sand, uh, sand blasted version. And, uh, and the one that we are showing is the, the one with uh, bronze anodized. Uh, titanium with stone washing which I'm I am really liking the way that one particularly looks it's gonna look it's gonna look very nice for years to come too thanks to it looks kind of broken in ready to go but still you know classy in a way I really like that and uh, and uh, as to the to the aluminum we have four different colors so we have black we have blue, we have green and we have the orange that is one we're showing and I as you like the, the 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 bronze one, I personally like so much the the, the orange one. It gives even more movement uh, if needed because the shape already uh, let you feel movement. Right. And uh, the color is uh, the the orange for me gives even 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 better this this idea. And uh, the other thing we thought about when doing this and designing this uh, this knife as Obviously, as you can see, the lightness of the knife. You can see the holes on the on the handle. They are made 
also yeah for giving a good look but also for for taking it very very light mm -hmm. in fact we are speaking on the titanium version of 2.65 ounces that is 75 grams and uh, on the aluminum ones we are right under two ounces so wow. 1.94 ounces yeah. yeah and still you it's it's not a very small knife so it's it's a standard a standard measurement knife because uh, uh, the the total length is 6.89 inches and uh, the blade length is 2.95 inches so right under three inches. It's right under three inches it's non-locking it's lightweight it's gonna be very easy to carry and it's that size and locking mechanism that especially for your folks over out the, over there uh in europe but even for us in some places over here it's important to kind of hit those uh hit those specs in in one knife yeah let's say that we don't do it on all the knives, okay? But we have to do some knives that we can that we can sell basically everywhere, and that we can, and that everywhere can be carried, um, because you know I I personally like more uh, flippers, thumb studs, you know, uh, quick opening uh, uh, knives. But we need we need also to 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 think about us in Italy and also other other European and not and not European. Uh, states and countries where uh, you cannot you cannot go around with a sleeper. Or... Everybody needs a knife. You got to make a knife for them. <laughs> Absolutely, we, these, we want to. These came out really nice. I like the feel in the hand. It's kind of a three and a half finger grip for me. The index finger area right here is nice and gentle. Feels good. The walk and talk quite nice. You probably hear that on the coming through on the camera for the folks out there. You got that half stop. You know, it's, it's it's everything we want from a from a modern slip joint, and it is a very modern look. That's for sure. Yeah, and and we also uh, left a very quite generous uh, lanyard hole that is very good to put your lanyard, but also help you. I don't know if you notice it, but also help you a little bit with the with the handling of the knife, because it keeps it on a, on a little bit higher line mm -hmm. than than the handle, and so should have to help you a little bit with the grip. Gives you more grip. Now that blade itself is pretty interesting too. We've got M390, like you mentioned, full flat grind, but you have it's almost like a Tonto. You've got a definitive kind of change in angle right here, but it's really not a Tonto per se. Uh, more like, I don't know, a modified Warncliffe almost, but it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I haven't I haven't got uh, give uh, a name to this to this blade shape. Uh, frankly, it's something new. Uh, as you told, it recalls a little bit a tanto, but is not, that is not the same angle of a, of a tanto blade at the end of the of, of the of the cutting edge. Uh, so yeah, I, I I would call if I have to give a name, I would call a modified a modified worn cliff as you as you told. Yeah, some kind some kind of hybrid, but it's it's going to behave when you're using it, folks at home, much more like a worn cliff. You've got that very yeah. acute point. Going to be great for piercing any kind of. You know, draw cuts on the surface there. It's going to go right through. Very cool. Thank you. And crown spine. It's it's Italy, of, of course. You guys, I love this about you guys, where you crown the spines and everything's very comfortable all around, even up there on the uh, the clipped portion of the blade. Yeah. Also, if today we will have a surprise. Oh. For you guys, you know that. <laughs> well, I'm excited. <laughs> so. Uh, no, uh, it's, it's, it will be the next. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, take it away, my friend. Okay. Uh, but uh, speaking about the, still speaking about the edge, uh, I just would like to, to mention again that they will come with our usual uh, leather sheath, pocket sheath with the magnets that has become very, very popular. And so we decided to use it to adopt it also on this on this uh, model. Uh, and considering the quite big success here, this this uh, new sheet is giving us, we decided to make something new also for that. Always in our idea to give options, you know, that mm -hmm. we like so much. So <laughs> we decided to make an edition that is called the color edition. And here you can see the different colors. So we have an orange. We have dark blue, we have uh, burgundy, I would say, and we have eau de green sheath. 
The the other very, inter nice. very interesting thing of this new of these new sheets is the leather we use. So in this case, we use a leather that is a hundred percent digitally tanned in Italy, in Tuscany, Italy, and all these sheets will come with a certificate like this that you can see as a number that is a unique number. Every certificate will have a different number that will grant this this sheet will come from um, Tuscany, Italy, and has been digitally tanned, etc., etc. And uh, the good, other good thing is that the price would be the same of our standard version. Yeah, and I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but it is pretty darn affordable. And these things are great. You know, anyone out there, if you have something you like to carry that doesn't have a pocket clip, and you want to keep it a little more organized in your pocket, these are the way to go. Because as long as it fits in there, you can you know, slip it into your pocket. That magnet goes right outside the, uh, the hem of the pocket and holds it in place. Just very cool, a very nice solution, and a very elegant solution for carrying any of these knives without a pocket clip. Thank you. You would have you would have to see my my first prototypes when I made it. It was not elegant at all. <laughs> 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 it was, was like was like steepled with, with the tape, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So oh, we we uh, showed yeah, my but... first leather sheath on a video a, a few weeks back. Uh, I've got it's held together with zip ties and Velcro. It's very professionally done, I must say. But every, everything has to start from a point. So. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No shame whatsoever. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> Very cool. I'm excited to see those colors in person. Uh, obviously, they're not, they're not going to come through perfectly through the, uh, the interview uh, video here, but uh, those look pretty cool. Very cool for sure. And uh, just to give a help of the, the information you were you were uh, trying to find before, the price of that of that sheet is twenty four ninety bucks. So gotta love it. Quite a, quite affordable quite affordable price for uh, for something that could be so useful. Absolutely, for sure. Okay. Well, we've got um, one more knife on the table here, um, which isn't available quite yet at the time when this video is going up. Um, but perhaps a, a more recognizable designer on this particular one, some guy, something uh, you guys should probably be very familiar with out there. Probably. So <laughs> yeah, the next the next knife is called the Gocha, and is designed by Yan San. So 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 quite quite more famous than Gratiot. A, a little uh, bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard of him before. I've heard of that guy. <laughs> so uh, basically. Uh, the gocha, the gocha started uh, with uh, with the design of the neo, so it's basically our vision of the the, the custom made neo from Yansans. And uh, so gocha, I would like to explain a little bit the the reason also for the name gocha. You can translate in English with drop, and uh, and drop is you can see the, the the shape of the blade, and we would like also to recall this. On the handle, and as you can see in the handle, the texture is uh, uh, is made with uh, uh, these steps. Let's say these um, ellipses uh, with uh, um, that. Let's say recalls the the effect that the drop make when falls on water. So you get the drop so of the, water, and these are kind of the ripples that. The ripples, that. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly, and. Together with that, that is obviously something cool and something that looks cool on the knife. Uh, it gives you also a better grade. So it's not only a visual thing, but obviously has been thought also about the grip. And uh, also the, the handle itself, the design, if you check it, has been uh, has been studied with the, with the right um, uh, the, the right shape to get to get a perfect handling. So the first time I, I got this knife in my hand, I say, oh wow, it's a glove. So for my hand, I, don't, I know that not, not, not everybody has the same hand size, et cetera, but for my hand, this is a glow. So I can feel perfectly on my hand. And, um, and also I like so much the blade shape. And, you know, I, uh, I kind of had the same reaction myself when I held it. I mean, I, I love any kind of folder that actually gives you some, some shape this way, some sculpting in this direction, because it, it does make such a huge difference in the feel in the hand. And even on someone with you know slightly larger than average hands like myself, it still feels good. I know I, I think my hands are a little bit larger than yours, Igor, if I'm remembering correctly. 
It's been a while since we've seen yeah, each probably, other. Probably. But probably. It, it feels really good in my hands as well. And that texture is the one thing I was, when I first saw it, the first thing I wanted to feel was if it was sharp or aggressive and it wasn't like it, it's the edges don't grab your, your hand in a bad way. It doesn't feel like it's cutting you or pinching you. It's just a little bit to, uh, to give you something. And especially on this titanium version, I think it, it looks, it, it helps kind of accentuate those ripples a little bit more than, uh, for instance, the Micarta version we're looking at here in a second. Yeah, but also on the Makata, uh, on the Makata version, obviously you, you cannot you cannot see them so much. Let's say when when you look when you look closer, you can see it. So it's it's less important for the visual part, but still keeping the good feeling of the of the handling. So um, as as I told you, it's it's been something mixed between a design uh, thing we would like to make and something to make it fancier, uh, but also uh, functional because. We would like to make knives like this. That knife has to be cool, has to be good looking for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, why not? But they have to be also also useful. And uh, the surprise I was I was speaking before when we were looking at the edge and you and you mentioned that the crown spine, you can see that on this one you don't have it. Mm -hmm. It's 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 like it's more flat. Uh, this because we decided to make something different uh, from from the standard and to stay more close on that thing on the <clears throat> on the original mm -hmm. and the custom made knife mm -hmm. and also to to go together with uh, uh, with the flat um, the the backspacer that is quite generous on this knife also mm -hmm. in this case we left it quite quite long and is flat. So we decided to keep flat also the, the handle, but I don't know what you can tell, but do, do you think it's not comfortable? Do you think some, do you feel edges? Do you feel anything no, that's no, annoying you? No, the, the edges, I mean, granted these are uh, early production prototypes. You guys are still final at the time we're recording this anyway. Um, the production versions haven't reached out, but yeah, the, the edges are nice and nice and comfortable. There's no sharp point there whatsoever. That's, I wasn't meaning to and to say it was bad. I just like a crown spine. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I I totally agree with you. I like to the the crown spine, but sometimes we, we would like to make something different. Yeah. Uh, and in this case, I felt that was the good design and the good knife to keep it to keep it more flat. And also again to match it with uh, with this uh, mm. with this back spacer that I decided to left uh, a little bit uh, more generous, also to give a. A good balance of, of the knife on the weight. Moreover, on the, on this lighter version like the Micarta carbon fiber and G10, and um, yeah, so I think I can feel it well. Uh, my my feeling uh, with the knife in my hand is it's a solid knife. Obviously, the titanium is is uh, a little bit heavier, uh, but gives you a, a, a at least for me it gives me a strong feeling. Mm -hmm. So something resistant and strong, but still very very elegant. Um, yeah, I think it's got a real good blend going of, you know, there, there is an elegance to it for sure, but this is not a, a weak knife. Like this is, there's some strength here. It starts with that feel in the hand. You've got that kind of confidence that comes from that grip. The blade steel is a little bit thicker here than, than some knives out there, but you still have a full flat grind. Again, that good balance between like the real heavy use and keeping things classy. Yeah, let's say that uh, speaking about strength and the blade, uh, in this case we have a 0.16 inches thick blade, so it's it's a quite a thick blade. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to keep it strong but even classy and put together these these moods. And also for the for the clip, uh, we decided to go with that with a bent uh, titanium pocket clip uh, that is very deep because you can see. It's mm -hmm. very, very deep. The, the, the knives will uh, basically disappear in your pocket. Um, and let's say, yeah. Also for the for the lock locking system is a liner lock. We, we haven't told it yet, but we have a liner lock that we have nested liners. Uh, on the Micarta version, G10 and carbon fiber, you have a double liner. So also the, the, the upper scale, we have a liner. Mm -hmm. On the Titanium, we don't need it. So we, you have only the liner on the on the part that has to, to close it to lock the, the blade. 
is uh, we we forgot to, to mention uh, it, it it got M390 steel blade. Uh, the finishing is uh, we we have six different variations. Uh, three full titanium and uh, uh, one green canvas micarta, one black G10, and a carbon fiber ones. Um, so all of them M390, uh, unless for the black version, uh, all the other ones as satin finish. So again, to keep the things about the classy together with the with the. Mm -hmm. With the, the hard with use, the useful thing, yeah, yeah, the hard use. So we like to keep to keep it classy, uh, unless for the for the black version that is uh, uh, black stone washed, uh, obviously to match with uh, to match with uh, with the handle. The backspacer is a solid backspacer in titanium with different coating, different uh, colors depending on the on the um, on the version you you would like to go for. Uh, the three. Titanium, you have a sandblasted one, a bronze and a dice with stone wash, and the black one that you have mm -hmm. in, in your hand. That's probably my, I don't want to say, but it's probably my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I, li I like the feel yeah. of that micarta, though. That feels really good. Yeah, yes, I, I'm speaking. I was speaking about the titanium versions. The titanium versions. Uh, the my my personal favorite is also because the the thing about the the pattern and mm -hmm. the, the you know this pattern comes out a little bit more uh, with, with the contrast with the black uh, the black coating for so, sure for sure obviously it's a flipper in this case action very smooth snappy action and yeah yeah and the, another another great design by 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 Jens. Yeah, like I, said, I, I like it all. Like I love the feel of the handle. I like the blade shape. You've got all kinds of belly there for slicing. But again, you've got kind of a, a small overbuilt knife here, but you still got that nice acute tip. So don't think you can't do kind of fine detail work if you need to, especially choke up a little bit. I think it's it's really nicely done. Should tell tell Jens that uh, maybe he's channeling a little bit of Ken Onion with that blade shape. Oh really? <laughs> no, we, we won't do that. He'll probably make him mad. <laughs> I like it. I like it very much. <laughs> I'll say it. it uh, I decided to make it when I when I saw uh, when I saw the first time the Neo the, from from Jens. I immediately fell in love with that knife. Uh, so that's also one of the reasons why we kept it as much possible as uh, the same as, mm -hmm. as the, the the custom one. But putting our character on it, putting yeah, our sure. our style, let's say, as usual. Yes, it's very nice. I like it very much. Um, anything else you want to uh, want to talk about? If you want to just give a couple of specs for, uh, I, I, I we probably forgot the the blade length of the Gocha is three point thirty five inches, so a little bit over three, uh, quite three and a half inches. And uh, the total length is uh, um, something less than eight inches, so seven point eighty-five. Inch, eight, yeah, eighty-five inches. Um, different weights for for the different handles, different versions. Uh, the other thing I would like to say is that probably you will love it. I, I'm loving it, so I hope you will love it too. <laughs> no, it's really nicely done. I really like it. Okay. But I like a lot of stuff you guys make, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. We try to do, we try to do our best. Uh, uh, we try to do our best to make uh, to make good stuff, uh, to keep up the, the good work, uh, to um, to try to offer to customers options, but and always give quality. Yeah. So our first our first uh, uh, thing we look is quality. Absolutely. Well, that's all we've got to talk about today, uh, folks. When this video is going up, that should mean that these edges are available uh, at the link below to take you over to the Knife Center. Uh, and you can see the final pricing for those uh, at the link. And uh, hopefully we'll have the Gochia up for pre-order now as well, but this should be maybe another month or so uh, behind the edge. Uh, Igor, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I love the time difference here. I'm over here drinking coffee. You're probably getting ready to start drinking wine over there. <laughs> Quite ready. Let's say here is uh, five uh, five p.m. So yeah, perfect. Quite ready. <laughs> <laughs> I still I still have an hour or two in the office, and then uh, yeah, I will be ready for that. <laughs> and that. And that will make a cheers to you, obviously. <laughs> well, here you go, <laughs> <laughs> Igor. Thank you so much, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao, guys.